Okay, for those of you, I've never done this. I've seen a lot of tutorials in order to get this down. I've done hair color for many years, but I, and in the bleaching process, right now I'm doing something that I've never done before. I usually go for the 40 volume right away. I'm not afraid. Uh, usually us guys, since we have shorter hair, um, it's not really scary because we can. I always think, you know, we gotta buzz it off. But this time I realized I will show, try and incorporate a picture of the before. I had all this uh, uh, a silver gray uh, that I had accomplished with uh, titanium and um, chrome, which is a much darker color, but lights, lightens up really nice uh, from Ion in, at Sally Beauty Supply. Besides, I had my original virgin hair and the roots I had already had like a quarter of an inch or maybe a little bit bigger. So what I did was basically I went with a 30 volume and a little bit of the 10 volume so it wouldn't be such a strong or powerful and mixed with a bleach powder. Now I put the amount that I used was uh, the amount of bleach powder sufficient to where I get texture in other words so it's not runny and liquidy and um, I didn't use too much. Us guys we can uh, we can save money because basically we don't have to use the whole entire packet and um, pretty much you just get as much as you can cover your entire head but you start out like if you have color already and you want to follow up the next time and making it want blonde again um, then basically I would suggest using a 20 or a 30 volume if it comes out yellow we can always tone it but I'm going to go to another silver uh, I'm happy today that I actually I don't have it with me I, I am using the Gai Tang uh, metallics from Kenra professional and uh, Notice that he has a seven silver metallic, a uh, eight, nine, and a ten. Ten being the lightest. It's kind of like with the, the the level that you want to get your hair to. So in other words, once you get to the bleaching state where you your hair is like the banana, the inside of a banana white, uh, you cancel out the yellow with some violets, which is uh, in the, in to in the toners by Wella. I think they have a magic lady, which is T14. And there's an, another number that I'm using, which is more of a permanent color to kill uh, uh, yellow. The violet, it kills more of the oranges. But since we have, we have already done the hair uh, on top, it was, we're gonna get rid of the dyeing, the demi-permanent, and we're gonna get it back to white, and then the sides, we're gonna get it back to white. We're gonna leave this on with the cap on. If you notice, I'm recycling a cap. It has a little bit of white already in it. I mean, sorry, blue, because after I do that, the bleaching and I have the silver, I'm going to add a either lilac or blue, semi-permanent. Semi it's up to you, so that you can get those different tones that they get. Yes, uh, I'm not a professional, but this is a method that I've noticed that's kind of like, and you can mix, the, that's when you come together to mix it with a conditioner to make it as light as you can, and what you see in what the bowl is what you get. And, but I'll get to that part later, hopefully. Okay, but this is the first process, so you can see. And this is where when I put a little bit of blue, and I didn't like how it worked out, so I basically washed it a couple times, so it stayed silver. And I'll be back with you. Okay, one thing that I want to establish is I'm going to leave this on between 30 to 35 minutes. I'm going to keep looking at it to see what color it's turning as it gets and the idea of the cap is because you want heat. Uh, obviously at home we don't have a, a sit under dryer that's and or, or heat lamps. So, but it's cool. What happens is, is your own head starts producing heat. And the cap also keeps the heat in so that it activates even faster. So that's why it's so important in this case when you're bleaching uh, to use heat. Okay, activation is the key. The uh, okay, guys. I'm sorry. Let me repeat myself. It's my first time, my first video of doing this little by little on the phone. Okay, if you notice, I said I wanted to get like the inside of a banana, and it looks like all the gray is gone. And I can guarantee you that it did not. Like I said, if you notice, the ends are pretty healthy. They're not split, and I'm use I'm, I'm facing a window so you get natural light. And you can see the different tones of hair. Okay, 
there is a, a, a slighter difference because this was already see that this section on top had already hair been hair dyed so we don't want to ruin it anymore so we want to feed it you know conditioner and oil and let our own your own oil grow into the hair later on but like you notice it's a little bit much much wider now so right now any silver that we put on or any kind of those fun new hair colors um, so now we're ready for the uh, guy tang silver the 10 s no I'm sorry yeah the 10 SM is the one that I got which is the lightest uh, for those of you that want to do the roots a little bit uh, darker uh, mostly women like to just see some contrast but just give it time be patient allow it to grow or you may want to use the permanent chrome that's a little bit more tricky from ionic and do the do the shades or if you want to go with guy tang as well do a set an eight um, a nine they're all different colors but anyhow I personally I'm not gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna do any darker roots uh, as you can see I already have dimension in the hair anyways and um, pretty much pretty much what I like is a violet uh, hair I did not I did not buy the violet metallic but because I rather do silver and then do a rinse that I can change the color or the hue to it but you'll see further on uh, it's kind of fun in other words I'd like to try I like to have the, the permanent washes and uh, I'll show you that afterwards you can dilute it a little bit but first let's go I'm gonna go with the guy tank the permanent silver and see what happens wish me luck right now guys what I want to add is as you see what I did is basically that I put on toner from well out t14 which is a pale ash blonde some people use t18 and I'm toning the sides because I did notice that they were a little bit yellow and the roots only notice I didn't touch the tips because I don't want to damage them even though I'm using 10 volume together with the toner because once you strip the hair and it's freshly bleached uh, the 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 hair stripped down so much you don't want to burn it like I said you don't want split ends so pretty much I went into the roots and I'm going to leave the top as you see it it's already white and again I'm facing the window so you can see it in natural light that's one of the things that you want to do um, is use natural light I mean you can see it yourself but actually when you're filming you don't want any false lights because it's going to give you a false uh, reply response on what you're actually accomplishing but if you notice my sides are already getting toned to the same color it's like a white and it's almost looks like kind of like silver silverish already but it's not the metallic silver that we're trying to achieve so I have to like wait a little bit longer before I do the Kendra which when I do that I'm going to apply it again with 10 volume uh, the reason why um, it's my first time using it and I also noticed that when I, I viewed and studied a few of the videos of Kai Tang and he always uses like a 9 volume which is what Kenra makes I don't know what the difference is between 9 volume and 10 volume I figure it's very little just 1% so the whole idea of it is to not fry your hair and I can tell you that my hair is not tingling burning or anything and stay away from using your nails or scratching your scalp at all because that's basically your when it will sting any kind of kind of any kind of coloring because you you've uh, you injure your scalp your scalp is very thin and so uh, I, I learned that a long time ago many 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 years ago and it's written in a book called looking good for men uh, that if you try and use the the tips of your fingers not your 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 nails to scratch your 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 head anyhow and it keeps a healthy scalp all right get back to you soon okay here it is again getting heat with the toner still on and I'm just like uh, following up I'm not showing you how to brush because I'm sure you guys know how to use a brush but I purchased very inexpensively several brush brushes get them on eBay I got like three different brushes um, but what you don't have to be keep washing and as you're going along and you can just put everything in one sink neatly and wash it at the end and rinse it um, with water and just pretty much fill it with water um, I mean I'm not making a mess 
but you can and it's good to have uh, several bowls um, even though you can always rinse the same one and it's one process at a time and you really got to wait about 30 minutes with each process or anything until you get the desired outcome um, no, anyhow, toners are pretty much permanent and uh, semi-permanent. So once we got the color on there, then we were okay because it's pretty much covered. Uh, what I'm using again is permanent uh, rather than the demi-permanent. Um, uh, if your guys are scared to put on the uh, Guy Tang permanent color, you can go with the silver um, D10 SVM, uh, demi-permanent at the beginning. And that way you're more in control of taking it off if you don't like it and freak out. Um, but hopefully we won't freak out with the, I don't think I'll freak out with the uh, 10 SVM. Um, so they're pretty cool. Any, anyhow, they fade and there's always color characters and all that kind of stuff. But we want to avoid having to do all those things. Right now I feel totally comfortable. No itching in my head. And no dryness, no dryness or pore, porous uh, hair, hair ends that are going to split or break or get caught in your glasses. Okay, guys, so I toned it now with, and like you can see the sides are more white. I toned it with Wella T14, Palest Ash Blonde. Um, I sincerely don't know the difference between T18 and T14. Uh, T18, I've noticed that does turn a little bit more uh, lilac uh, when you put it on. This one turned a little bit more like a very pale, uh, pale but silvery white. And like you can see, um, the brassiness is gone, the size of the natural roots. Because when you first bleach your, your hair, sometimes it's, you, uh, you'd rather do that than burn it too much with 40 volume, which is what I used to do before, remember? So I went with and with 30, but this time when I toned it, and again, um, I, I have to say I did feel a little slight, a slight burn, but not sufficient to, um, to feel, but my hair to feel anything or be afraid of it, and my hair feels completely, completely soft. Um, I gotta say I started this whole process by bleaching it only once. That was over a month ago. Uh, and I've done every color, green, purple, several shades of like uh, the silver uh, to figure out which one I like the most. And to pretty much, uh, after doing hair for so many years, I wanted to try these um, semi-permanent, demi-permanents, and permanents. And it's something new that I'm learning. Um, it's just something that, that I have fun with because uh, my sister's a pro and she used to always help me. And she every now and then she still helps me out. Um, and um, if I, <laughs> so far I have never messed up, uh, I got the color pretty much down. It's not what I chose as a career, but she chose, she, she's an excellent person at it. And uh, I, when I used to make mistakes at it, I used to call her all the time nowadays with Google. And she'll tell me sometimes a couple of things. Um, but uh, it's actually, if you are afraid of doing it yourself, then go to a professional. But if you're a guy like me and you feel like okay I can always cut my hair or trim it uh, do it but I'm going little bit by little step by step so that you and showing you the results right now I can leave it like this is I like it I think it's pretty nice um, I just want prefer to I gonna say I, I want to try the guy tang T uh, uh, the 10 I'm sorry the the 10 silver metallic I want that metallic sheen, sheen uh, look okay although right now it looks like my grandfather hair <laughs> cool the contrast helps so it's kind of like uh, with the mustache and the, a little bit of eyebrows that I got I practically got very light ones <laughs> all right so far guys I got Elsa let it go let it go so far I got it kind of like pretty much like uh, let it snow let it snow or let it go and um, now on to guy tanks color but I had to tone it a little bit this is what it looks like afterwards uh, some guys who prefer the t18 which is a lavenderish and this one goes kind of like silverish grayish on your hair but don't freak out let it go let it go of the fear and move on you can always color <coughs> it away